Hello friends, welcome to Vigilant Online Workshop. This is Har Harshim, Cyber Security Analyst at Vigilant. The topic under discussion is Ethics and Hacking. Now let us see about Ethics and Hacking. What do you mean by Ethics? Ethics can be defined as the moral principle that governs a person's or a group's behavior. Now what do you mean by hacking? Hacking is basically studying about a thing and then modifying that thing. So hacking can be defined as practice of modifying the features of system in order to accomplish a goal outside of the creator's original purpose. Now we'll discuss about history of hacking. Hacking has, there, has been there for around more than a century. In 1870s, Several teenagers were flung off the country's brand new phone system by enraged authorities and many of the teenagers were involved in this. Now one of the great attempt of hacking was done in the year 1960s in Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Artificial Intelligence Lab. They have basically built an inter uh, artificial intelligence lab with the help of some electronic device and some computer program and it was completely insecure. So that MIT's artificial intelligence lab became a staging ground for the hackers. Now a very famous person in the year 1970s with the name John Rapper and the handle of John Rapper was Captain Crunch. He used to make long distance call for free. Now in 1980s a very famous person with the name Kevin Mitney, the first crime what he did was in the year when he was of the year 16. What he did, he created a fake card which bypasses the bus authentication system and he was able to travel through bus without paying any money. And when he was of the age 25, he used to secretly monitor the emails of MCI and digital equipment security officials. Now in 1990s, this decade in this decade, there was a huge boom of hacking. Hackers break into and defaced federal websites including the US Department of Justice, US Air Force, CIA, NASA and various other government official websites. Now why is security needed? See, information is the most important resource of an organi organization. An organization spend lot of money to keep the information secure. So there are three, three major goals of security. They are confidentiality, integrity and availability. The CIA of information security. Now let us discuss about these three things. The first is confidentiality. Confidentiality means the secured asset should be kept secured no matter what happens. Now next is integrity. Integrity means the data should not be modified, should not be changed, should not be manipulated by unauthorized people. Now third is availability. No matter what happens, the delivery, the delivery of the data should be done to the authorized people. That's the availability. Now we'll understand the term ethical hacking. The process of legally hacking the information is considered, that is considered to be confidential which means the process of legally penetration into a company's, a firm's network or a system is called as ethical hacking. These are the various terms used for ethical hacking, intrusion testing, penetration testing, red teaming. This is the course certified ethical hacker by EC council if you want to become an ethical hacker. Now we'll now we'll study the word ethical hacker. An ethical hacker is a hacker, an expert hired by the organization to attempt to attack the network and computer system the same way a hacker would do. But the difference is that an ethical hacker tries to patch the vulnerability and save the network and save the system. Ethical hacker uses same techniques and tactics used by the hackers and result is the company's ability to prevent an intrusion before it occurs. 
now this is the dis distinguish between ethical hacker and a hacker ethical hacker hacking where hacking is done legally with permission of the respective organization whereas hacker does illegal thing without the consent of the respective organization ethical hacker attempts to prevent the malicious attack from being successful whereas hacker attempts to make malicious attack possible an ethical hacker would disclose any vulnerability that is discovered create a patch and try to stop the exploitation of that vulnerability whereas a hacker exploit the discovered vulnerability now we'll discuss about types of hacker the first type of hacker is script kiddies they are basic school going student college going student who does not know much about the code much about the programming language who just try to copy and paste the code and try to perform the attack which is dangerous and risky now the next type of hacker is white hat hacker a professional term for ethical hacker is white hat hacker they perform the penetration testing with the consent of the organization and this white hat hacker penetration testing is completely legal next is black hat hacker a professional term for malicious hacker is black hat hacker they perform penetration te testing if they find any vulnerability they try to exploit that vulnerability now the next is gray hat hacker gray hat hacker is combination of both white hat hacker and black hat hacker a self proclaimed ethical hacker is also called as gray hat hacker now we'll discuss about hacktivist what is this hacktivist hacktivist is a term that is derived from the two words first one is hacker and second one is activist now the next is state sponsored hacker the state sponsored hacker is given funding by the government and it uh, he has limitless time next is spy hackers these hackers are basically hired by the corporate uh, corporates and organization for corporate rivalry purpose next is cyber terrorist cyber terrorist are basically motive, motivated by religious or political belief to perform cyber activity their basic intention or their goal is to spread fear terror and to commit murders now we'll be discussing about steps of hacking the first step of hacking is footprinting or information gathering this is the first and the most important step of hacking in this step we gather the information about the target system a good hacker consume 90% of the time of his face in information gathering there are two types of information gathering information gathering active information gathering passive now scanning the network is scanned for any vulnerability the system is scanned for the vulnerability the ports the protocol the services are scanned for the vulnerability steps involved the next step is system hacking now in this step we actually perform hacking it involves actual hacking here we take the advantages of vulnerability found during the scanning and penetration testing of the victim system or the victim's network now next is maintaining access making provision by planting back doors this means with the help of trojan horse or a virus we can plant a back door in the victim's computer which will give us access now covering tracks removing all the traces of the presence in the system or in the network by removing the logs or event files of that system or the server thank you